Hello everyone, in this video I will teach you how you can segment contacts based on their behavior using automation. Stay tuned. Alright, so now we are in the automation workflow. As you can see it is empty but we will start filling it. And to segment contacts uh, using automation what we need to do is to use the filter dynamic segment. We won't add it yet as you cannot start uh, a workflow with this filter. What we will do is we want to um, segment people that made a purchase on in our shop. So we will drag the condition purchase and here you will select uh, your shop. In our case it will be our Shopify shop and we won't be selecting any product or we won't be uh, getting granular here. What we want to track is people that spent a specific amount and we will tag them and score them. So now uh, we will need to use the dynamic segments. So pretty much what happens here is someone made a purchase in my shop, so they will enter the workflow and then they will go through uh, the segment. And well, so what do you do here? When you drag this uh, filter to the workflow, you will be able to see your segments. So these are your saved segments already. If you don't have any, what you will do is you will go to create new segment and this will open a new tab. So I will exemplify how this will look for you and I will show you what I did. So I went to uh, e-commerce here. I went to um, total spent. All uh, here you can select uh, your shop or all shops, depends uh, on your situation, of course. And in my case, I will have uh, less than and greater to. So just this is as this is just an example. I will do this. Uh, so people that spent less than forty dollars, and then you would save as a segment, uh, like spent less than forty dollars, and then you would save. I will, will not be saving as I already did that. This is just to exemplify, <clears throat> so that you can do the same. And now. Let's head back to our workflow. So here we are and let's select the segment of people that spent less than $40. And well, if this um, is true, what will happen here is that they will follow the green path uh, or left one. So this one here with the check mark and I want to tag them. So I will tag them as um, small purchases. So this is a client that, that makes small purchases. And then I want to score this client as well. So I'll the score here and this will be, let's say 50. Right. So now from here, uh, you will see that um, some, if someone uh, spends more than 40, they will take the red part. And what we want is to click on the filter, control C or command C, and we can paste it copy and paste it and this means that people will go through the filter again and I have another um, segment here which is people that spent more than $50. One interesting uh, thing here using this filter is that you can select uh, multiple segments and well when it matches uh, people will go through the green one as I mentioned and well now I want to target these people here and these will be for me uh, it will be considered um, big purchases. This is just for the sake of exemplifying how you can segment the contacts. And I already have a tag here. Uh, just to mention that if you don't have a tag, you will be able to, uh, to create one as well uh, using this. And we will assign a score as well. And this will be a hundred. And now what happens? So what happens if they spent less than 40? So they will be here on the green one and if they spent more than 50 they will take this one here. So what happens in between? In between 40 and 50 we don't have anything meaning that they will end up taking this green this uh, red part right over here and we will tag them as um, medium purchases. Let's select that and as you can see I actually didn't remove um, when you are assigning a tag, you can also assign multiple tags. So here I did not remove. So you can see that if you do the same mistake, uh, you have to check when you're copy pasting because it will copy uh, and paste the tag that you had before, of course. And the same will uh, happen here. 
when I uh, connect, you'll see 100. And in this case, I simply want 75. All right, so based on their uh, purchase behavior and how much they spend, they will have different tags and different scoring. And what this will um, help you with is that you can then start a whole new workflow using uh, either the tag or uh, the score. Let's say people reach uh, 200 points. You can start uh, by that. You can start a different workflow. So this has to be something different. And then um, when they reach these, uh, the points, you can send them, for example, an email with a promo code or something specific if you um, if you offer free coffee, if they, if they come to your shop, something like that. So this is how you would use in this specific case. And let me show you another one. So here uh, we want to wel welcome our customers based on their language. And we have this information. So when they fill our form, they fill in um, their language or country. And based on that, we will send a dedicated welcome message. So here would be uh, for Portuguese speakers. Um, and you will then select the message that will be sent. And this workflow, it can extend forever. So you can keep linking stuff here. And then here for our Polish customers. So a welcome message for Polish customers. And then here for Spanish customers. And just to showcase, this is just to showcase here. Uh, you can select multiple. You can select multiple um, segments here and uh, you can then say how you want the, the filter to accept the segments. So if you select all, means that it has to match all here. So people have to be Spanish and Polish and then they would receive this message. In case they are only Spanish, they wouldn't go through the green path here and they go through the red and in this case um, if you want them to go through anyway if it's only spanish or only uh, polish you would select any of the segments if you want both segments to be met so all the, the conditions when we create a segment if you want both to be met you will select all of the segments so well as you can see this is a great way for you to segment your contacts using automation it will save you a lot of time and it will help you send dedicated message to people based on their behavior or certain characteristics that they have. I hope that you were now able to understand how you can use this filter to your advantage. And well, at the end of this video, you'll find a button that will lead you to create a workflow. And then you can start using this filter if you weren't using already. And now this is where I go. I will see you in the next video.